right, welcome back. Coming to you from a different location. I don't know if you're gonna if we're gonna have a lot of sound problems today. We're out of the property. Um, we're in the tiny house. We've got the microphone, but the air conditioner's on and generators going. So if there's background noise, I apologize. But that's probably just how it's gonna go today. So I've got another bug gun review for you. I was kind of excited about this one. And not to give away the game, but I'm uh, I'm not excited about it at the end of this. This is the Taurus GX4. I know. I was like, uh, I don't know how to feel about being excited about a Taurus at first. At first, I was like, ah, I just kind of, it's not so bad. It's like a 365, but they did away with some of the things that, uh, that I had problems with. Um, but don't worry, I found other problems. So, uh, let's get into this. Let's look at a few stages. I shot this at a match, uh, an ASI match. I also shot it at uh, out, out of the head of the property to try and work out some of the things that I found at the ASI match, but we'll get into that. Take a look at a few of the stages, and we'll come back with the pros and cons at the end. Definitely doing it. Okay. Hang on, I'll just finish. Okay, so we're kind of going to do this out of order. So usually it's uh, we come over, we look over the top of the box or over the top of the gun with the gun in the box. Um, but we don't have the box because Nick still has it. So we're going to go right into the pros and cons, um, and from there we will. Uh, We'll get into a little bit of something else. I, I went head to head with this thing in a very quick, what will be totally encompassing, um, <laughs> uh, head to head against the my Carry 365. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but first, the pros and cons. The pros, uh, it does fit the box. Like I said, I don't have the box here with me, but it does fit the box. Um, it's just a bit taller than the 365. So when I say it fits the box, it also fits my hand so that I can get an entire grip on it, which is pretty cool for this small of a gun. Um, which it has that over the 365 with the flat magazine. Now you can put the you know the finger extension on the 365 and get a whole hand on it, but I can get a whole hand on it without that with this, which is pretty cool. Um, and it feels good in my hand. I put the larger back strap on here. It just takes up a little bit more of my hand, and I like that. I like it a lot better, so it feels really good in the hand. Um, moving on, trigger. The trigger is one of the best triggers that uh, I've tried in these small little guns. So the trigger uh, is about as good as my 365 trigger, but like the worked over trigger. And this looks—I know it looks weird showing you like that, but the the reset is short. Uh, the trigger is is super super nice for uh, the micro compact market. If you're a 2011 shooter, you're not going to uh, in enjoy this as much as I do. But I really enjoy it. Now we'll get into why I don't enjoy it soon. Um, comes with uh, another pro. Comes with two 11 round uh, mags. So if you live in a free state, which I don't, because I live in Washington. Uh, you can it gets you get 11 rounds in the mag, which is one more than 365. I think the I don't know the Smearcat or whatever from Springfield. The Springfield Irrelevant has that. Um, I don't know why nobody shoots Springfield, but like nobody shoots Springfield. Rob Latham. That's all I can think of. Like I don't know another person. I don't, I don't like hang out or know Rob Latham, but uh, he's the only person I can think of that shoots Springfield. As I sit here right now, I can't think of another person who owns or shoots a Springfield. I actually own one, but I don't shoot it. I own a lot of guns, I don't shoot them. Uh, there are also 13 round mags, so if you uh, are so inclined, and again, if you live in a free state, you can get 13 round mags, and those do give you a little bit of extra uh, grip on there if you got meaty paws. Uh, another benefit, it fits in the 365 holster, but not super well. So I, the reason I think this fits 
that this gun fits in this holster is because this is a 365 holster that is designed to fit with the Go Guns gash cutter. So you can kind of feel there's a little bit of a, a hiccup in there. It doesn't really fit great, but it, it fits well enough to shoot a match, and that's what I used to shoot the match with. So it worked, um, and I didn't hurt myself, so super worked. Oh, come on, computer. Sorry, I have my notes on my computer, and uh, I just went dead. Uh, another pro, there were no failures to feed and no failures to fire with one caveat. The caveat that I'll get to is that this thing did malfunction, and I'll explain that further when we get into the console. Uh, it takes Glock sights. Uh, so even though Glocks suck, uh, the sights are everywhere, the sights are ubiquitous, so you can get these sights, uh, you can get sights for it relatively easily. So this is, I put this on, this is an Ameriglow front sight, and this is the uh, blacked out rear sight that it comes with. So I don't know if I'm showing you that or not, but that's what it comes with, blacked out rear sight. It came with a, a white dot front sight. Um, yeah, that is what it is. Okay, uh, cons. Uh, it didn't hit as well as I'd like. Um, most of the time I pulled these out of the box, and wherever I, you know, I don't shoot them before I uh, take them to a match, just take them to a match and see how they're going to do. And most of the time, new guns are, you know, point of aim, point of impact for the most part. This thing, uh, it maybe, so I'm, I'm going to give it the, the, the benefit of the doubt here and say, like, that's because I put a, a fiber optic front on it. Um, and maybe the height is something different than what the rear sight allows with that white dot that comes on it. But... It was hitting a little high. It doesn't seem to me to be, you know, my eye isn't calibrated for hundredths of an inch, but uh, it doesn't seem to me to be sitting any higher than the other one does. I sat them down before I put this on and put them, you know, right next to another one another, and they appear to be the same height. Um, but it shot high. Um, who knows? It could be me, but I don't think so. Um, so... They almost, another con, they almost got the sights right. I mean, by, by almost got the sights right, like, I know I just got done saying, like, in the pros, like, oh, the sights are Glock sights, so they're, that's good. And that is good, but uh, one of the negatives is that, uh, you know, I wouldn't have had to do anything to this if they had got it right by just putting a fiber optic front here from the factory. So, um, you know, with red dots being the thing, uh, a, a red fiber optic front and a blacked out rear is just what everybody should be doing, in my opinion. If you don't agree with that, um, you're probably wrong. Okay, so probably the most significant con um, for this gun is that... Uh, come on, man. Isn't that... <laughs> having computer trouble here. Usually I, I write it on a notebook. And I have like a notebook that's like right here. You guys can't see it, but I can see it and read it. But I was like, no, I'm smart. I can use a computer. I'll put it on the computer. I'll put it on the desk next to me. But now I'm looking over at the computer all the time, and, and uh, yeah. Anyway, probably the most significant con is that the mags fall out of this while I'm shooting. So I don't know if it's my hand or the way. So, like, when I put my grip on here, like, I'm not touching it. Like, I don't know if it's happening in recoil. Like, as the gun, maybe the gun's moving in recoil and I'm hitting it. But the, the magazine, like, falls out just a touch in the gun. So, like, my I got so much of my hand on here that even when it falls out like this... Like I've got my hand still on it. So there's several times uh, in the match it happened where the it didn't take the next round. So like there's, you know, boom, boom, click or whatever. Uh, but several times while I was shooting it out here today, I was like holding, like I felt like, oh, the magazine fell out. Like it's not seated. But the, the me bits or the fat of my hand is holding that thing in there and it's still cycling. So is it the end of the world? Like, no, I guess not. But it's it's a pretty big deal because like if this is something that you're going to carry, uh, I would not want to. So I would not want to carry it with the idea that the, the magazine might fall out. Um, if I grab the gun and I think about, hey, get your hand like up 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 high enough on the gun or far enough away that it's not going to happen. Like I can make the gun work. But if I don't, and I don't think about it, and I just grab the gun and instinctually hold it the way I would hold any gun, uh, the magazine falls out. 
And I think that if I were to carry this in a concealed carry capacity uh, and needed it, that I would probably grip it super hard uh, like I would any other gun, and the magazine might fall out. And if it falls out to the extent that the gun doesn't work anymore, that could be really bad. So I, I think that's a pretty significant con for this gun. Um, I don't know. I don't think there's much else to say about it. That just, you know, I, I can't run this. And, and for bug division, like, I mean, in the sports, you, you want a gun just, just as anywhere else. You want a gun that goes bang every time. If it's not going to do that, then it's not, not the one for me. Okay. Uh, kind of the final thoughts here, like if you can get the mags to stay in place, uh, or if you can adjust your grip so that it, so that the mags do stay in place, like it, it might work for you. Um, and when uh, what, another thought on that is when I'm when I'm holding it, and I'm holding it in such a way that the magazine does not depress and fall out. I did switch this to the left side. Um, when I do hold it, not as firm as I would any other gun accuracy suffers and like I don't know in a concealed carry gun like that's pretty important so that just is what it is I don't think that this is this is a winner uh, this is one of the few that I've been like most of the time I, I get a bug gun and I'm like yeah you know it's another small gun like I like small guns this is this is good but this is I don't like this um, I don't know doesn't mean that it's not uh, doesn't work for you if you like it but it doesn't work for me. Um, so let's take a look at, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the last uh, the last thing is comparing these to 365, and I'll come back and talk a little bit about uh, <laughs> about the, the Taurus GX4 versus the 365. happen the mag release put don't think so there you go there you have it that was designed to be the definitive test for a concealed carry handgun like how is this going to do two shots on steel two shots on paper one shot on steel two shots on paper one shot back on steel what's it going to do how is this going to do um, so I, I think it was like a steel paper steel 321 for the 360 yeah for the 365 and then like 329 for the Taurus GX4 so that's like uh, eight one hundredths of a second so this is a loser uh, you know that's, that's science there's no no arguing with science um, that's the way it is but I did think it was interesting that while I was shooting, the the mag fell out of my gun, the mag fell into my out of the gun into my hand again, um, but did continue to fire. So I did I fired I did a few more times I fired I did a few more runs after uh, after what I showed you in the video and and that that's when I could really get it to oh and if I went like this and kept my hand down here like I could keep the magazine in just no problem. However that that sucks. I don't want to hold a gun like that. Um, but even so, uh, I had several times where the mag was like out just about like that far, and uh, but the gun was still cycling, uh, which is cool, I guess, if you like a gun that you know cycles with the mag out. But um, again, that doesn't change my opinion at all. It just I was kind of hoping that I would bring it out to the property because I have my, my range out here. I'll 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 do a walk around. And I'll kind of show you what I've got out here. But I was hoping that I'd come out to my range. I'd put this through its paces, and then it would I'd be like, oh, no, it was wrong. I just I was screwing it up at the at the ASI match, but I wasn't. Um, I'd say it's a no-go, but, you know, tell me what you think. 
Um, if you like it, I'm sorry that I'm, you know, shitting on your gun, but, uh, yeah, let me know. Thank <laughs> you.